We got another great morning for us, huh? Gather around, gather around. It might not be the first thing you think of. Does it go straight up and then come straight down? No. When you think of summer vacation. Yesterday, we had took the chicken and we, and we put it in the bag. And so we mashed it up and got all the juice and minerals out of it. So if you can see bottle, if you can see cap, we have to wrap better. There's a reason why soon to be Rochester ninth graders are doing this hot on a 90 degree day. We're making a weather balloon. And it's a science project. And then that's part of a summer camp that we've been running. It's called Summer STEM Institute. Feel the helium start to come into it. Which involves the aforementioned experiment to find out how UV rays affect bacteria and to get that concoction closer to the sun. Make sure nothing sharp touches the balloon. Students will send it up on a weather balloon. And it ends about 15 miles or so from here. Hopefully not in a tree this time, right? Those who run the program say it's a hands-on way of getting kids interested in learning. We're trying to find a way to prove to them that the stuff that they have to learn in math and English is actually useful. We're launching a balloon up to almost out of space to the stratosphere. The last group got like 97,000. The goal this time is to beat that. I think it's going to go higher than it went for the last class. That would be most likely um, in the stratosphere between the mesosphere. Just the kind of talk instructors say will come in handy come college time. And I think then they have, they tend to have more confidence in us that when we tell them that this will be relevant to you in the future, maybe they might believe us. The weather balloon is equipped with a camera and GPS to help track it. The most recent predictions, Dr. Harkin? That way. <laughs> and after a nearly two hour wait, came the moment they'd been waiting for. Uh, this balloon is going to approach 100,000 feet. As it disappeared into the clouds. Yeah, it's like a little dot. The onboard camera caught the spectacular payoff of a weather balloon, a summer science project, slowly rising. It's going to go right through um, a couple of layers of atmosphere. It's going to go through the ozone layer, and we're going to get some phenomenal pictures. And with it, rising expectations so that when it comes time for college, these kids will be ready to reach as high as they can. I think one reason is relevance, that they're not learning things that they don't think is relevant to them. So we're trying to create that relevance. Seth Voorhees, Time Warner Cable News.